Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why women oftentimes stay in relationships that are toxic. I'm also going to be showing you why women will gravitate towards men who are oftentimes filled with drama or emotional volatility. And not to mention, what you have to understand is this, regardless of what you think sounds good, normal, and healthy in a relationship, you have to look at where a woman's actions are gravitating towards. The biggest point that I want you to remember through this entire video is that there is no amount of looks, money, or status there is no amount of social media followers, any of this made up stuff. That will never make up for masculine attitude, masculine demeanor, masculine frame, tonality, and temperament. All of those things is going to resonate with a woman on a soul level a lot quicker, and I'm going to be showing you step-by-step step why this occurs. Now, on top of all this, we have crossed over 830 guys inside of our community. I have more testimonials on this page than I have ever had in my entire life, so once this video is over, I made a brand new behind-the-scenes secret presentation I want you to watch. It's a video that is not on this channel. You're going to see tons of new stuff. Go and check that out after today's video is over. It's in the description. Let's dive in. Okay, stick with me. This will change your life. I'm showing you why women stay in toxic relationships. What you have to understand is her heart as a woman will only belong to one man, okay? Who her heart gravitates towards emotionally and who her heart wants and craves is going to be one specific man. Here's what you have to learn and you have to understand about women when you're dating. I don't give a shit who taught you anything about, um, you know, have high social status here, or this is how you have good social skills here, or here's how you say the right thing. The root of her nature, okay? Women respond to drama, chaos, and turmoil. This is why they like love stories. This is why they like romance novels. This is why they like fantasy, okay? So here's what you have to understand here. Making a woman feel something is how you engage her attraction mechanisms towards you. What did I just tell you? I told you making her feel something. I didn't say your bank balance. I also didn't say how many social media followers you have. And I also didn't say if you're a CEO or not. See, this is what you got to understand is almost every other person out there giving you content regarding relationships is giving you the wrong advice. Because if you actually look at what women respond to, it's never what you think they want. So I don't care how much corporate status you have, it's not gonna get you anywhere, okay? So here's what I can tell you. Women hate being bored. They absolutely hate being bored. Well, what does that mean? That means guys who act toxic, okay? And this could be toxic and maybe he doesn't call her back. Maybe he goes and flirts with other women. Maybe he doesn't take his job seriously and he goes out three nights a week to the bar, whatever the case may be, I don't care, right? Think of whatever you wanna think about, I don't care what you wanna think about. Guys who act this way are the furthest thing from boring because they engage the woman's emotions. Women gravitate towards problematic men who cause drama. So here's what I can tell you, men who get dumped by women, this is the textbook frame that they oftentimes fit. They are very nice to be around, they're good men, they're predictable. He's at home every single day at the same time. He goes to work every day at the same time. She knows where he's at, what he's doing, okay? He's stable, and he's oftentimes positive and uplifting. Well, you might be saying, Casey, those are good traits to have, isn't it? Yeah, sure, but it's not going to get you very far if those are the only emotions you're bringing, okay? These are men who only give positive emotions. Men who only give positive emotions get left, they get dumped, they get heartbroken, they get cheated on, okay? Women want to feel a wide variety of emotions. This is why I'm telling you what makes logical sense in your brain for how you think a relationship should work typically never makes emotional sense in that woman's heart. So if you want to understand what women respond to, it's drama. This is why even some emotions like uh, doubt or worry or sadness this is a drama-filled emotion that is still making her feel something. Women gravitate towards those men. So here's what I can tell you. The men who women chase give a wide variety of emotions. Sometimes it's happiness, sometimes it's sadness, sometimes it's doubt, sometimes it's jealousy, sometimes it's mystery. Some of you in long-term relationships right now, if you're struggling where she's pulling away from you or not interested in the bedroom anymore, the best thing that you could do, honestly, 
is instead of coming home from work, go out to the bar and turn your phone off and stay out till two in the morning. And then when you come back, let her say whatever she wants about where have you been and who are you with. That's going to work way better for you than any amount of looks, money, or status that you think you need. Some of you just need to understand how to have a backbone and that women love drama. So women desire to nurture, change, and fix broken men. There's a lot of men with alcohol problems women will constantly chase. There's a lot of men who are in and out of different jobs that can't even hold down a stable job that women are trying to nurture and women want to sleep with, okay? My theory is this. I have my own theory with a lot of things. This is my theory. My theory is that women view toxic dudes as more alpha because he doesn't act like everybody else. So she is drawn to him because he is unique because he won't conform to how most guys behave socially. This motherfucker just kind of goes and does his own thing. If the guy goes, well, I don't really care what you think. I don't care that it's a Wednesday night. I'm going to go out and ride my motorcycle till midnight and go flirt with a bunch of women. If he wants to do that and that's what he thinks is right, he just goes and does it. Women gravitate towards that type of behavior. So this is what I can tell you. You'll see very hot women, like very, very hot, attractive women, chase guys who have sometimes alcohol problems, they can't hold down a job, they have addictions, they have super volatile emotions, uh, they're not stable in their career, and these guys are just unpredictable. Just super unpredictable, okay? Women desire something to fix. If they desire something to solve or fix, she's sitting there looking at this guy with all these problems going, I bet I can change him. I bet I can help him. I bet I can figure him out. I bet I can make him a better man. Now that project of him, or like think of it this way, when I say project, if he has a bunch of problems, it's like a project she wants to fix or improve on or a problem she wants to solve. That makes her engage her emotions and work towards this guy in getting to know him. She wants to figure out why he's not like everybody else. So women desire something to fix. That means looks, money, status won't make up for this vibe. This vibe of being hard to please, hard to win over, doesn't necessarily move how all the other guys operate. There's no amount of looks, money, or status that can make up for this. This is internal. This is internal personality traits. Sometimes these men are super selfish and self-centered and he just really doesn't care. So because of that, she's like, oh, how can I make him more like everybody else? So she tries to improve this guy. It's like he's a big project, right? Think of it this way. Think of you're doing a home renovation. You got a big home renovation project, right? And there's a bunch of problems in the house, right? You got to replace the carpets. You want to replace the cabinets, all this stuff. It's a big project. That's kind of how she sees it is she's like, well, there's all these things going on. It's definitely not boring over here. There's a place I can engage my emotions. I might as well see what he's up to. And this is what you're going to notice will happen. So let's take this a step further. When women date guys like this, okay, just stick with me. When women date men like this, it's virtually impossible for her to be loyal to another man ever again after she was with a guy who behaves this way. So here's what I can tell you. Majority of men, like let's say her and this guy that she was really emotionally invested in were to separate. The other men after this guy that she's going to probably meet does not bring this level of drama and emotional volatility that this other guy did. So the chances of her ever being loyal to another guy after she was with a guy like this is virtually impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's going to be very hard because the other men that she's going to meet just don't bring the same level of excitement. It's just not going to be the same level of man that she's used to. So what you have to understand is women will oftentimes chase losers because he appears more alpha than the rest of the guys because he's living life on his own terms. So everybody says, hey, go get a better job and go care about your career. And he says, I don't give a shit. I want to go ride my motorcycle. And she goes, wow, that's so hot. Okay, this is what actually happens in the real world. I don't give a shit how many love language books you want to read. This is what happens in the real world. So let's take this even one step further. This type of guy says, screw you. I don't care about looks, money, or status. This guy doesn't care what people think. This guy basically does all of the shit that he wants on his own terms. And then she goes, oh my God, he's out on his motorcycle. This guy drinks whiskey five nights a week. 
He gives literally no fucks about maturing into a different guy or a better guy. So then she goes, well, I might as well sleep with him because he's different from the rest. This is oftentimes how it goes. So women desire, here's what you have to know. This entire frame of being the novel or the movie that she never wants to finish. Okay. All of this type of stuff. Okay. Women desire to raise your jealousy. This is what you have to know is she wants to unlock your jealousy instinct of feeling as if you would not want another man to be with her. Now, here's what you have to know. This is all part of the entire narrative. So women desire to raise your jealousy. Women who are drawn to this toxic type of relationship or this fairy tale type novel. Okay. Women who are drawn to this, here's what oftentimes they will do because it takes two to tango. These women may go flirt with other guys. They may act a bit deceiving or do devious type shit, or they'll appear as if they are losing interest to do these things. The first thing that she's trying to do is unlock this guy's jealousy. She's trying to make him disappointed or pissed off or frustrated that this is going on. And then number three, she's trying to create drama and emotional conflict like a movie. So if you understand this, now her emotions have something to focus on. So let's take this a step further. When this happens, this is basically a lot of emotional impact, right? This is a very emotionally charged situation. Let's call it that. So when emotions are high, that's when attraction sometimes is unlocked. Now she'll oftentimes go and sleep with this guy when the emotions are intensified like this. So what you have to understand is this, when things get too stable, okay, here, like, since we already talked about this side of the marker board, let's just erase this really quick. Here's what I can tell you. When everything is going stable in a relationship, women oftentimes get bored. If she has to bring the emotional excitement or the drama first, she's losing a lot of interest. Okay. But if you recognize things are stable and you bring this emotional drama first, now she has something to fix or a problem to focus on. This is why in my videos, I say you need to be hard to please because if she has to bring the conflict, the emotional turmoil, the drama first, she's losing interest in you because you're just like everybody else. You're the exact same as all the other guys and she's losing interest in you. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now shift your attention over here. When you understand female attraction mechanisms, you're going to discover a few things. What I want to tell you is this, there is absolutely no amount of looks, money, or status. There is no amount of recognition. There is no amount of fame or fortune. There is no amount of you being a good leader, all this stuff that we were told. Okay. That can make up for masculine temperament an I don't give a shit attitude. A guy who does not conform to normal type social interactions where you behave like everybody else and you're this cookie cutter, nice guy. There is no amount of any of this stuff that can make up for those internal masculine personality traits that she gravitates towards. So there's tons of attractive dudes who are in bars, who are in clubs, who don't give a crap about being a good guy, any of this stuff. Okay. Women fantasize over these guys. And the reason is because hypergamy is a feeling. It's not a status metric you can measure on paper. Like, Oh, I have a million social media followers. So now I'm entitled to a more attractive woman. Like here's what you have to understand the internal masculinity personality traits that she gravitates towards. That is a feeling that is satisfying hypergamy.